Labour leadership hopeful Rebecca Long Bailey has stunned party moderates by insisting there is still a place for Jeremy Corbyn in frontline politics despite his catastrophic performance at last year's general election. Ms. Long Bailey said Mr. Corbyn, who led the party to its worst election result since 1935 would be offered a prominent position on her frontbench team if she succeeded him as leader. Asked if she would give him a job she said, I'd like to but I don't know whether he wants to do it. It's up to him. I love him so, the shadow business secretary, who is trailing Sir Keir Starmer in the labor race, has been labeled the continuity Corbyn candidate after she gave him 10 out of 10 for his leader. Miss Long Bailey has been publicly backed by hard left shadow Chancellor John McDonnell and John Landsman, the founder of the pro-Corbyn Momentum Group. But speaking on the BBC's Andrew Marr show she said she found the continuity Corbyn tag insulting. She said, everybody knows what I believe in and I'll never deviate from that, but I'm very much my own person and to suggest I'm a continuation of any individual is quite disrespectful, not least because I'm a woman, but she said still backed Mr. Corbyn's disastrous policies despite the devastating losses suffered by the party in Labour's traditional heartlands. She said, we've come so far and we've developed some of the most transformational policies that we've seen in a generation. We weren't being radical in terms of our public spending plans. In fact we were way behind other leading industrial nations. Tensions between the three remaining leadership contenders surfaced at the weekend when favorite Sir Keir Starmer refused to commit to finding room for his rivals in his shadow cabinet. Sir Keir said he saluted Ms. Long Bailey and Lisa Nandy but he would not say if he would have either on his front bench. Speaking at a leadership hustings in Glasgow, he said, I don't think any of us are going to get into jostling for positions on this, Ms. Nandy said she would be proud to serve alongside these two. Speaking about the hustings tour, which is taking place as the party looks for its next leader, she added, there is a camaraderie that comes from going around the country from one conference center to another. And we do actually like each other, Ms. Long Bailey told the audience, I feel a bit sad that Keir doesn't want us in his shadow cabinet. I think we've got three brilliant candidates and we had brilliant candidates who unfortunately didn't make it onto the ballot paper. I know we don't agree with each other all the time, we're very different and our visions are probably very different but we meet on areas of common ground, and that's what would make us a strong shadow cabinet and I would have Kier and Anlisa in my shadow cabinet.